Season of the Plunder. We all know it, we all just barely survived it as a community, but was it really that bad? People are always going to be ready to throw Destiny in the bin, but this time, are they justified? Plunder gave us Catch Crash and Expedition. The core playlists were ignored once again during another content drop, instead a seasonal activity took their place. Catch Crash is alright, and Expedition is an absolute snooze fest, and I guess technically King's Fall if we want to say Plunder gave that as an offering. Either way, the community sentiment is at an all-time low, and the player population is there to back it up. But realistically, this content drop is not that much different than many other ones in the past. But why are people looking at it with such malice? Well, I can tell you. The real reason Plunder is looked at so terribly is because of Bungie's live service team. After their reign of terror and trials for what felt like a millennia, Bungie came out of the blue to be our hero and said that special linear fusion rifles would get nerfed in a week. The people rejoiced. Until the day came. Yep. Turns out that the nerf to most has ended up being a buff to some. While the actual bozos who used it as a crutch are not using them anymore, the gamers who know now that all they need to do is, once they realize they're going to be flinched, to now aim for the toes and they will get flinched straight to the head, which, you know, allows them to do classic stuff like this. Look it! Watch it, watch it! You see how it just it aims at the head? This is cheating! No wonder people on console are good! Then the Telesto event. If you can even call it an event. This joke might have been like the bee's knees like three years ago, but in the current state of the game, this felt nothing more than Bungie not being able to like read the room. After the whole content vault debacle, we lost all the secret missions that really sold the idea of Destiny to new players, as you know veterans would take them along in those missions as their like introduction to the game. We lost the two banger secret missions, one alright one, and nothing else was lost as far as I can remember. And so far, Bungie's replacement for the peak secret missions Whisper and Zero Hour felt strange. Their efforts to recreate Whisper and Zero Hour were presage in the Hawkmoon one that I literally can't remember the name of. These two felt very disconnected from their predecessors, and while I still can't quite put my finger on why, something about them felt disingenuous to the concept of a secret mission. Do you guys agree or am I crazy for thinking that? But somehow things got worse. As here we are, more than halfway through the year and we haven't gotten a single secret mission to replace the ones we lost. Then Bungie went and just revealed that they are not making secret missions because they are too expensive to hide. Okay, so they've stopped making things that the community likes and are doing what instead? There's nothing else extra alongside the seasonal offerings. But wait, we just got a Telesto event. I wonder what that did for the game. They broke the gun to be super OP in PvP, so it ended up causing this to happen. But wait, there's more! An emblem! We got an emblem. And the best part is, the code that they gave us in the game doesn't even work, so they had to go on Twitter and tell them, alright that one didn't work, here's the right one. So with this lack of content that is clearly going noticed by the community, at least there's some fun PvP to play in the downtime, right? <sighs> So here's my hypothesis. Bungie's deal with Sony caused them to want to have a game as casually friendly as possible. So they destroyed what made PvP good for the dedicated audience as that would make new players have a hard time getting used to the game. That alongside with the collabs with Fortnite and Fall Guys which would also likely bring in a big influx of new players who saw the Destiny skins in their respective games and were like, yeah let's go try Destiny. So because of that there's no more jumping, no more sliding, and no connection based matchmaking because you might get into a game with true vanguard and his sidearm before they were cool who will pummel that poor casual the next week. What? The game has been casualized and the dedicated audience is hurting because of it. We all thought they would have learned their lesson by now. D2 year one had to have been a very clear wake up call for them, right? They had learned pretty hard that appealing to the casual audience in an inherently more hardcore than normal styled game wasn't going to last very long. As soon as they got the chance, they undid like all of the changes. No more static rolls, 4v4 crucible with slow time to kill, gone, slow ability recharge rates, gone, and the godforsaken double primary system. Thank god that's gone. So I would say it's pretty safe to say that the mentality of 2016, 2017 Bungie was gone and buried. And that things were looking pretty well for the game, and I mean they were. Forsaken and its seasons were a hit. Shadowkeep rolled around and uh, Bungie announced that they separated from Activision. And while everyone at the time celebrated because we knew that the higher ups who were whispering in the devs ears to put things in place like how they limited XP to get people to buy their loot boxes, you know that, those kind of things. Shadowkeep's year was uh, pretty rough. As a matter of fact we saw that the whole 
Activision split hypothesis did not come true, Bungie became incompetent to say the least. While we know now that Activision was out there like stealing breast milk and stuff, so it was probably a, you know, a good idea for Bungie to get out of there while they still could. Uh, although it clearly didn't seem to make much of a difference anyway, but whatever. A simple change to look at that represents this downgrade was when we went from getting three raids in a year to only getting one. Since that came from the major expansion, we were forced to grind Garden the entire year to get our pinnacle drops. Then there's the whole Trials of Osiris and the whole cheating situation, and I mean, those who were there for that can vouch for having been like completely frustrated at the devs, to say the very least. All that being said is to show that from that point, there were terrible decisions being made at every corner that was much worse and therefore harshly overshadowing the improvements to the game. Sunsetting and content vaulting being the real notable blows to the head, we still haven't gotten over that as we are still being fed reused content to this day. Bungie making a disappointing change after a disappointing change even when we get some really good content like witch queen it's sort of alongside the core playlist staying the same or somehow getting worse nobody is replaying the campaign over and over again these days or even the side activities like the blind well two or whatever it is so why is there no effort being put into core activities well, i can tell you why because they don't sell the copies of the expansion to bungie it's all about the money over everything and that causes nothing but misery for the dedicated fan the amount of perceived care that bungie has for this game has seen a notable drop the best example to compare this season is the elixir sneak quarter event. Just like Season of Dawn, there was a thing to funnel materials inside of to achieve a community goal. The main difference is that the Fractaline gave people a ton of weapon drops making it really memorable, while here we have a chance of getting a box that has a red border inside. Then the Season of Dawn event thematically leads us to getting Trials of Osiris and a new lighthouse for it. While for Plunder, Bungie only thought they were required to hop on their two decade old engine and slap in some corn and a bench or two and then called it a day. I wanted to open this video with the joke that if D2 keeps going down the path it's taking, it's gonna end up a dead game so i went to go google what games died from being too greedy i literally died because in the first article i clicked on all right good that's come on bro it is nothing but misery for the dedicated fans of destiny obviously right i can tell you at least from an anecdotal perspective that i'm currently not happy to play the game here's my face getting the footage for my argument here in d2 and here's my face playing uh in other news, D2 just got nominated for the Game Awards for Best Ongoing Game, and obviously it's got some competition of, you know, like Fortnite, but if anyone has a brain and Blue Wesselo has taught us anything, it's that Final Fantasy XIV is taking that dub. So while usually I'd be all down for Destiny and coping that they'd finally get noticed by the populace by winning an award like that, with how the game is right now and the sentiment that the devs are either not listening or spitting in the faces of the dedicated player base, I would be really disappointed if they won. It would go to show that there really is no hope for the dedicated audience anymore because at that point, not only could they get away with it, they are being rewarded for it. So even with all the doom and gloom I've been spouting, I adore this game with all my heart, and it sucks to see it to go in this direction. And while I do have some positive things to rave about, here's another video of me analyzing Destiny's failures again in a much more comedic manner. Click here to watch it.